Hi everybody, this is Queen Rena, and today I'm going to talk about a very important subject and it is called how to use spiritual intuition to navigate through earth school. Yes, I did say earth school. Um, one of the reasons why I am talking about this subject is because some of you may not know that this is actually a school and whether you pass it or not determines whether you go to heaven realms or the hell realms. And yes, I did say realms. There are different realms. I would not get into those realms. I'm just going to uh, sink them down into uh, just a few so everybody can understand them. Um, I understand that I have... Um, many people from all over the world that watches my videos and I know about all the cultures I know about um, the different norms and belief systems in all your cultures and um, from my reading and my research everything syncs together and has about the same type of meaning which is true and I'm going to go into this video and tell you why I know it to be true um, one thing I have never told anyone is and I'm telling you for the very first you're the people who's learning this for the very first time I have never told anyone that I actually remember what it is like to um, what it's like before you were born into this physical body yes I actually remember what it's like before you are born into this physical body and that is one of the reasons why I am actually awake. I have been awake for since since before I was born. Actually, um, before I was born into this physical body, I remember this black void. It was kind of like yeah, the black the black void, um, where it was just me. I didn't have a physical body. It was just me, my consciousness. And then there was another consciousness that was on this side, no physical body. Again, it was just consciousness. And it was telling me all, everything that was going to go on to my, in my life. Um, different things that was going to happen. And next thing I remember is being in my little body as a three-year-old and I was like oh my gosh I am in serious trouble okay because I was born into a not so good situation and I was like oh my gosh and I'm in this little three-year-old body what am I going to do and God was like calm down it's okay I'm going to get you out of this so God uh, navigated me from that situation to a situation where I didn't have any um, parents and that is where I was able to remember and get you know download a little, little bit of information from spirit from God and get more information and what God feels like and things like that and then I was able to navigate to where I did have parents and so that's what happens when you have intuition when you use your intuition God navigates you from a very dangerous situation to a good situation and that's one of the reasons why I stress using your intuition so much is very very important because God can navigate you from danger to a good place to where you're good and you're okay and so now I went from a very dangerous situation to now I finished I got my bachelor's degree I um, am I am in graduate school I am writing a book and I am working on my business so as you can see right there that intuition is no game and you it's app is a must it's an absolute must you must I would advise anybody and everybody it actually should be something that you are naturally attuned to um, and for those of you who use your intuition often you might remember from when you were younger different aspects and things that help you to remember what it's like and how to use it from your when you're younger but those of you who haven't been using them 
too often it might be a little bit more harder for you to actually use your intuition it could be easier for you if you can maybe remember some little things from when you were younger of how it felt and what different aspects and different things your body feels like when you're using it and I will make another video um, later on about how to use your intuition I made a video um, earlier um, you can go and look at that video about how to use your intuition, but I'll make a more in-depth video later on about how to use your intuition. But yes, I used my intuition and got out of that dangerous situation, and now I'm here in a more a safer place, and I'm a big person now. I'm not a little three-year-old, you know. And so for the past 20 years, I have been living, um, well, I'm almost 30 now, so for the past tw 20 years, I have been living... Um, uh, pretty much deja vu since before you're born God tells you exactly what's going to happen in your life and so there were certain things in my life that I was um, well there was one main thing in my life that I wanted to change but when those things happened um, God let me know and I was kind of mad when I wasn't able to change it because God didn't give me all the information that I needed to change it um, but God was telling me that I wasn't supposed to change that. I was supposed to change something else so I can do what I came down here to do. And also so I could wake up when I was supposed to wake up and like, oh my gosh. So everything that I was told before I was born was correct. And so that's basically what happens. So now when you're down here in earth school, you... You have to use your intuition and your spiritual gifts that God give you. Um, you have a lot. You have more than five senses. They'll tell you. People will tell you. The mainstream society tells you that you have five senses, but you actually have more than five senses. Um, and intuition is one of your most valuable and important senses that you have, and it helps you get from places that. Are not good to places that you want to be it helps you guide you through life helps you get through tough situations and you really really need this it helps you also um, understand people it helps you read people's energy and I that's one of the things I'm able to do is read people's energy I have always been able to do that um, it's something that's natural that's supposed to be within everybody um, and that's another thing of intuition is and that's another thing of actually remembering who you are and what you are. You remember everything. You remember that everything is energy and you are a part of everything. God is a part of everything. And you can actually feel everything. You can feel, and you can feel everybody. And so you're able to read a person very easily. You're able to see a person very easily for who they are on the inside and out. And I am able to do that. I... I have always been able to do that actually. I um, mean, it's supposed to be something that's natural within everybody. Like, some people will say, oh, that person has a bad vibe or bad spirit. That's the same thing. They just have to um, actually amp that up and start to pay attention to that feeling more so they can um, actually amp that up. And also, one of the things that I know is that when you are in the upper realms above heaven which some people call limbo there's different realms that you have the heaven you got limbo or the in-between um, heaven and earth and then you have earth here and then you have um, the hell realms some people say that earth is hell um, well that is kind of true it's a part of hell um, but it's more of a place where you you have to learn it's like a it's like a school for you to where you do either do right or you do wrong and you go to heaven or you go to hell or whatever and so when you are in your limbo realm or which is in between the heaven and earth you start to you actually do not have any of your human ways anymore. 
Um, so whatever you would do as a human, you would not do in that you're actually a part of God. Um, you're no longer a human. So it's really important that you try to get yourself right now because when you go in your in-between worlds, in the limbo realm, you you can't behave like a, you won't you would not behave like a human anymore. You would not have the thoughts of a human anymore. You will remember your human thoughts. You will remember your human ways, but you would not have those thoughts. It's kind of like when they say um, our ways are not like God's ways. Um, that is true. When you're out of this human body and you're in between limbo, you're not going to be human anymore. You're not going to act like a human anymore. It, no matter if you, it's good for you or not. So when you leave out this body after you when you pass away and you leave out this body and you and is you and it's God remember you're not human anymore you're not in this human body it's just, it's just consciousness and you're going through your life of what you did and did you live your life right and did you try to help people did you take care of yourself um, what did you do you're not gonna be able to be like oh my human self would say you know what I would did okay, I'm, take me to heaven. No. You're going to be like, you're actually going to have to tell the truth. It's kind of like you took a truth serum. You're going to have to actually tell the truth. So, if you did not treat people right, you did not treat yourself right, if you did not do the right things in life, then you're going to have to come back down here to the hell realm. So, it's really important that you try to get yourself right now it's really important that you get yourself right actually um do right by yourself do right by other people when they tell you that the golden rule is do unto others as you would have them do unto you it's not uh, a consequent it's not like a consequent uh, that they said that it's important it's actually really real that they said that do unto you others as they would have them do unto you it is the golden rule. So somebody knew that this was one of the most important rules. That's why they call it the golden rule. So when you're up there in the limbo realm, that golden rule is one of the most important things that will help you and freaking save you. Okay? Did you treat people right? Did you treat your spouse right? Did you treat your children right? Did you treat um, your parents right? Did you treat your ch children's um, child, your your children's us uh, other parent right? Did you and also did you treat yourself right? That some people don't realize how important it is to treat themselves right. They're they know to treat other people right, but they don't know to treat themselves right. You have to treat yourself right. Because when you come down here, the main thing is you want to get yourself right. This, getting yourself right is like 70, about 70 to 75 percent of the reason why you're coming down here. And it's really important that when you come down here, you do what you need to do. You live the life that you're supposed to live. You don't live the life that somebody else wants you to live. You live the life that you are supposed to live. Like if you come down here and you know you're supposed to help teach people stuff and then somebody got you doing something else you you pretty much sold your soul yes you sold your soul to somebody else and then you have to come back down here you you don't want to do that so when you come down here you have to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do where you come down here what what's good for you on the inside and in the process of you getting yourself right and doing what you need to do after you do that, then you go ahead and you find your mate because that that is what's going to help you send you off, you know, with a peaceful mind and heart, send you off to the heaven realms where you're like, oh, I did everything I need, needed to do. I treat people right. I did what I needed to do, and I had and I had love. So getting yourself right and making sure you you live the life that you're kept out here to live, seventy five percent and that love part of finding your mate is is really really important because it's the thing that's going to help send you off so even if even if finding that love is just for a little bit you need to be able to have that love and so you can go off into the heaven realm without 
looking back. So that is one of the main reasons why I made this video because I wanted to make sure that you do what you need to do down here so you can get to where you are you need to go. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why I'm making all these videos is because I want to help you get to where you need to go because I remember what it feels like out of, out of this body and also um, I do remember some of my a couple of my past lives. Um, my last life I um, I was taking care of everybody. I was taking care of everybody except myself. I didn't do what I wanted to do. I didn't, I didn't live my own life. And the life before that, um, I lived my life, but I didn't treat uh, my spouse right. So I had to come back and pretty much be um, the person that I didn't treat right be the type of person that I didn't treat right so that was pretty not fun so now but that last life I did do right by people I could have um, I could have went on I had the option of going on but like I said again um, you when you in that in-between world you cannot be fake you know if you treat yourself right you you know if you didn't treat yourself right you can you, you need to make sure that you do what you need to do pretty much so um, I came back down here to fix that and also um, had to help other people as well um, so they can get their get on out of here as well so um, I hope that this video helped uh, helps you and I hope that you start treating yourself good working out eating healthy getting your mind right um, if you if you have always think of negative thoughts, try to replace those with at least two to five good thoughts. For example, if you think that you cannot work out because you don't have anywhere to work out, you can always um, go, you can always run around your apartments or run around your house or run around whatever you have, um, run around the block. Um, also, you can buy you some dumbbells and do some workouts there. Um, if, another example, if you live in a house where lots of people and you're the only one who wants to eat healthy um, you and everybody else wants to eat unhealthy, you can still go ahead and start eating healthy because maybe those other people will see that you're eating healthy and your mind, you're getting your, your, your mind right and you're looking a lot better and you're feeling a lot better from eating healthy. Other people in your family is going to want to eat healthy. So you have to start thinking positive about things, about everything in your life. You have to start thinking positive about those things. Um, and so getting your mind right, getting your body right, and also getting your spirit right. Some people don't know the importance of that. You need to get everything right. Like Some people just think they just need to get their spirit right. And that is it, good, that is right. But the thing is, you wouldn't be out here in this physical body if you just needed to get your spirit right. Your body is a part of your spirit. It is actually a physical re representation of your spirit. And when you have, and when you have your spirit right, um, your body is going to show it. You're going to be more healthier. You're going to be able to think more clear. You're going to have, you know, healthy hair, healthy, healthy set of hair. Um, and you're going to pretty much look good and it's going to shine out. Your spirit on the inside is going to shine out. Um, and that is not the case for unhealthy people who don't have themselves right on the inside. Their body is, you will see maybe them, they're overweight. They're always complaining. They're always thinking negative thoughts. They're draining. That's what happens. So, yes, you do need to get your mind, your body, and your spirit right. And it's very important so you can be able to get out of this hell earth realm which is a school which is a class and go on up to the heaven realm um, and also when you're down here it's not going to be easy it's, when you take studying it for a test and you're trying to pass and somebody gives you a test then the test is not going to be easy is either you actually study for it and you use the knowledge you got and actually pass the test and make a good grade on it or or you fail. So when you're down here in this earth school, 
there is going to be lots of tests that come at you, and it's supposed to, and it's supposed to be that it's supposed to be that way. You're not going to, you're not going to go to heaven and mess up heaven. That's not going to happen because you didn't get what you needed to do down here, right? So get yourself right, so when you go to heaven, you will know why it's important for you to actually act right because you will be right. You will get yourself right down here. So when you're down here and you're saying, oh, this person did that and that person did this, that is a sign for you, hey, get yourself right, get your, get your knowledge, make sure you do what you need to do with your life, take care of yourself, don't act a fool out here. And when people see that you're actually doing something, oh, that person is actually awake or the people can't mess with you. People can't mess with you when you're actually awake, when you're spiritually awake, you're doing what you need to do, and you're living your life, and you're taking care of yourself, and you're helping yourself, and you're helping others. They'll know that they'll know that you're awake. And when people try to test you, which is what they're supposed to do, because that is a sign of um, of to see if you're really awake, or if to see if you're hey, you know what? I'm awake. Screw this. Don't 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 test me, because I am awake, and I'm going to I'm going to let you know that here, okay? That they're supposed to do that because you can't be like, oh, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm scared. I, I don't know if I know this answer. No, you know the answer, and you're gonna get. And you're gonna be like, hey, I know the answer. There, here's the answer. Okay, I'm. Don't, don't mess with me. Period. That and, you, and then people will start to see, hey, okay, well, that person can't mess with that person. Let me try to see the rest of these other zombies around here. Yes, these other people, they're zombies. Just like the, all these zombie movies that's going on. It's trying to tell you, hey, y'all are asleep. Wake up. Wake wake up, y'all. Y'all are asleep. Okay? So, you need people, you have to be able to discern, your, discern yourself from the, those other people. And let people know, yeah, I'm not the one that, to play with. Or uh, go mess with those people so, so maybe they can wake up. Okay? So when you see all these things on the news and all and everywhere and all on social media websites and things like that just know that okay yes that's happened what do i need to learn from that what, what type of spiritual download am I, am I supposed to get from that and get what you need to get but still do your spiritual thing of you know cleansing negativity making sure you're good treating people right doing the right things and you will be good now, I know that I have people from all over the world that watches me from different countries. Um, and like I said earlier, I know most of the uh, different religions and theologies from around the, um, the world. And there's different aspects and principles in the theologies that I do agree with. Um, and I'm not here to uh, let you know any of those um, aspects and theologies. I'm just going to inform you about the most important things that I know um, to be true. Um, like one of the theologies that many uh, Christians, which is the background that I um, actually come from, um, believe in is the uh, Christ principles. It was is they call him Jesus Christ. Um, some people call him Yahshua. Some people say it's a female, actually. Um, some people uh, just say Christ principles or call it the Christ consciousness. Uh, whatever you believe doesn't um, doesn't matter the the name as long as you know the actual principles and you know why it's there and what it's used for and, and what you need it for. Um, just kind of like do unto others as you have them do unto you very important that helps you get out of this realm good and make it to the heaven realm um also the fact that they say that um yahshua or jesus or whatever we call it died on the cross died for your sins so when you leave out this uh, earth realm and you get ready to go to the heaven realm you would not feel weighed down in your heart you know that you came down here do whatever you need to do and yeah, you did 
you might have sins or human way I call them human waivers I don't call it sin because sin has a negative connotation to it which if you study um, body and you study um, chemicals and reactions and thoughts and things like that you would know that negative negative uh, feelings in your body actually turn to different illnesses and sickness kind of like your stress and you get ulcers things like that so that word sin it has like a negative connotation to it which it seeps into your body and it can create sickness in your body so I changed that word from sin to uh, you can change it to whatever word you want but I changed it to like human waivers and it doesn't have like a negative connotation to it it's you're just being human and you just need to make sure that you fix those human ways and so you actually analyze those human ways and understand why you do not need to act like that or do that because it's going against yourself and it's going against God is going against another person, which is actually a part of you, and y'all are a part of God. And so you actually can see that and analyze it and pretty much move on. And so when you're in the limbo area, in the in-between worlds, earth and heaven, um, it's really important that you do understand that Christ principle, um, the Christ consciousness or the Jesus Christ principle um, or the Yahshua principle, whatever you believe in, um, that you understand that. So when it's time for you to go to heaven, you would not have anything weighing on your heart. You would not feel like, oh, I didn't do this or I didn't do right by myself or I didn't do right by people. And you would know that all those human waivers you try to do your best you try to do right or you try to do this or whatever and you know you're going to let go of all those human waivers you just let it all go you don't worry about your human ways anymore okay you just let those go and you're getting ready to go on you're like you know what i did it i did what i needed to do and i'm going take me to heaven take me to heaven take me there okay so that's what you do that is that is the secret Get rid of your human waivers, and helping you to do that is actually doing the right things when you're down here. So, and then when you get there, in the in-between worlds, you get rid of those human waivers. Like, oh, they're all gone. I'm. I try to do. What I, I try to do my best. Do right by myself. Do what I need to do. Try to do right by people, and that's it. I'm take me to heaven. It's kind of like Dorothy in um, uh, Kansas. Take me there. Take me there. Take me there. Same thing. Uh, take me there. So, and then you shoot on up. That's, and that's, that's how you do it. Okay, so I'm just trying to help you so where you can get there. And that Christ principle, that Christ principle, that Christ conscious principle, that is correct. That is correct. Okay, that's something that I know from, um, from my memory of um, before I was in, became into this human body. So that Christ principle is correct. You need to... But like you need to do right here, and once you're up there, once you're in the um, uh, in between worlds, some people say limbo, whatever. Um, you need to let those let that human ways go. You know, you, you do what you need to do. Come down here, and you got rid of that, and you let your human way your human uh, ways go, and you just get ready to go right up right up to heaven, and that's what you need to do. And so I made this video so. It will help you so later on when you do pass from this body you will know what you need to do and also my other videos will help you for this human um, realm here so you can actually get through this human realm same <laughs> without being crazy okay um, and I will make more videos in the future uh, my next video will actually be about hair so I'm going to make my next video for African American females on um, the importance of natural hair and because this these are your antennas. Those of you who are spiritual, you know that these are your antennas for to download spiritual information. Um, kind of like Samson in the Bible had really long hair because it it was a part of his strength, and so he didn't cut his hair. And when he did cut his hair. Um, he lost his strength, but he prayed in the end and got his strength back, even though he had short hair. Um, but these are your antennas. You download information from 
God from different energy sources. And my hair, as you see, is like it's more than halfway down my back, actually, all the way down here. So I will make some. I, right now, I have my hair in a protective style, so it's I don't have any heat or anything on it. It's just growing. It's being uh, healthy and natural, and it's just growing. And this is one I like to have my hair natural uh, because it grows a lot faster. And I, my next video, it will be about my hair um, and help you. And also, it will teach you. My next video will teach you a different ways to make a protective style and different ways to um, keep your hair healthy. And you know, and I will also show you a couple of different uh, tips that you can wear in cute styles to where you want to go out or you know do something fun or do whatever and so I'll, my next video will be about that and again I'll show you how long it is and catch it and it's about halfway down my back let me show you from right here all that okay Okay, but anyways, so this video um, about Earth School is coming to a close. Just remember, do right by people. Um, do right by yourself. Really, really important. Make sure that you live your life. Do not give your life to somebody else. Try to fit into somebody's uh, box because that is selling your soul. Um, you live your life. Okay, um, you find love, true love. You have to find yourself first and live your life first before you know what you want and to find to attract that true love that you want. Because having everything, even if even if for just a little bit or a little bit of time or whatever, um, whatever, twenty, ten, five years, whatever, um, thirty years, fifty, seventy, eighty, who knows how many years? When you get out of here, you know you did everything you needed to do, and so. You just go on. You, you send off. You go on to heaven. No problems. You won't look back. You don't need to look back. Okay? So you don't look back and you just go. Okay? Take me take me there. Okay? Like kind of like um, Dorothy in Kansas, the Wizard of Oz. Take me there. Take me there. Same thing. Okay? So, um, so this video is coming to close. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I love you. Thank you so much. Please like this video. Please uh, share with all your friends. Please leave a comment or any questions. Or you can uh, find me on one of my um, uh, Facebook or Twitter. I have the links on my page. Um, also, Instagram, I have the link on my page as well. Um, you can send me a message there. And I will be more than happy to uh, answer a question. Or you can just leave me a comment. I have several people who leave me comments and send me messages on one of my other um, uh, media pages and they tell me about you know ask me questions or they tell me what videos they like or they'll tell me what videos they want me to make and I read all your um, messages and I want to thank you for all your messages and I will make those videos that you requested in the future I will make those um, and I just want to thank you so much for watching this video again and please do not forget to subscribe and also share with all your friends Thank you so much. Peace and love. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Hey everybody, it's me. You see, I'm the one. I'm the one here to set you free. So subscribe to me, Queen Rena. Queen Rena. Queen Rena. Queen Rena. Love you.